If you're going to make decisions based on data, analysis, and models, it's important that that analysis is reproducible. So if you're going to do some analysis, let's say in Excel, and you're copy and pasting things and manually editing and, and changing data, there's no way to reproduce that unless you keep really meticulous notes of everything that you did. Right? So very, very unlikely that that's going to work well. However, if you're uh, doing analysis uh, where you're writing all the code yourself, and you start out with a data set, make changes, do analysis, then that analysis is reproducible. So how do you use a graphical interface like Radiant, say, to, to uh, engage in reproducible analysis and reproducible research? Well, one, of course, is the state file. So I can do some analysis. Let's say I'm, I'm going to run some type of regression where the response variable is price, and I've got some different explanatory variables. Uh, if I want to keep this analysis, uh, then I can use my state file. Right? And somebody can go in and look exactly what settings I had and what data I was using to run that analysis. In addition, though, uh, there's a possibility to create a report that details uh, what you did, why you did it. You can write a discussion around it. And you can also include the code that is generated by Radiant to conduct the analysis and make data transformations and so on. So let me give you an idea of what this reporting feature looks like. So we're in the R Report tab. And you'll notice that uh, some things are in blue, some things have some color. Uh, and so what does that mean? Well, when I use these hashtags, so two hashtags, it's basically creating a header of size two. Right? So you can do something like that in Word or in HTML. So you can think of the, the, the text, how you type it in here. It's like a, it's in a form called Markdown. And you can think of it as a simplified version of HTML. So uh, below that, I have some regular text. And so if I just select these two lines and hit knit report. I'm going to see that the sample report is listed as a header and the text below is just regular text. So it can either, by the way, generate this by doing knit report or by pressing control enter if I'm on Windows or command enter if I'm on a Mac. I can also create uh, bullets like unnumbered bullets, um, unordered bullets. So I can just type text if I go to the end of the previous line and press enter, I'm going to automatically see it, see a new uh, bulleted item. Uh, let's say, you know, another, whoops, another bullet. And again, if I want to see that, I can just select what that would look like once it's rendered. I press uh, command enter or control enter if I'm on Windows or, or knit report, and it will show me what that bulleted list is going to look like. I can also create numbered lists. So another item. And again, I can select that and see what that would look like once it's rendered. I can even generate math if I'm so inclined. It will look something like this. Um, and so this is really useful because I can describe my analysis and my interpretation of the results. And in addition, I'm going to get, uh, if I'm using Radiant, I can get these what are called code blocks. So a code block starts with these three backticks, then curly bracket R, and then ends with a curly bracket, and it ends with a backtick. So if I select just this chunk, it's called a chunk, that's the name we use for it, and just render that, it's going to show me the regression analysis, uh, some regression analysis, and some histograms. Okay. Now, how did this code get here? Did you have to type it in, or what happened? Well, luckily, no, you don't have to do that. You could. You can write any R code you want within these code blocks, but Radiant will actually generate for you if you know how to. So let's say I'm interested in um, creating a pivot table of, let's say, clarity versus color, and I'm going to create a plot for that. Right, so this is a frequency table, so how many diamonds have clarity of this level and color of that level, and then a visualization of that. Now I could do a screen capture of this and then copy and paste that into Word, uh, and again, you know, that's not horrible, but it's not easily reproducible because I don't know exactly what I did to create this. I mean, some filter might have been set or, or some other thing that I did, uh, some change to the original data that is not documented, and then I get some different results. And, and why is that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this icon here on the bottom left of my screen. And if I hover over it, it'll say report results. And when I click that, it's going to take me back to the R report feature. And what you'll notice if I scroll down is that it added uh, these commands down here. So if I, if I render that, 
going to show me the table that I had before, as well as the plot. Um, let's let's do do one more uh, visualization. I'm going to create a uh, line plot of the number of carats versus the color of the diamond, um, and I'm going to create separate lines for different cuts. Right? It's not a very good good plot, but let's just imagine this is fantastically useful. And um, I'm going to add that to my report. So here we go. Here now is my visualization command. Again, I didn't have to type anything. This is what Gradient uses in the background. And it's automatically put that command inside a code chunk. Again, if I render that, I'm going to see the plot that I, that I had earlier. Right? So again, I don't have to type anything, although I can. If I know R, I can type R code in here but I can have Radiant generate analysis for me. So for example, uh, the linear regression we were looking at, and I press the report results uh, command, and here we go. Here is my regression and the results. Okay, so this is how you would generate a report. Uh, again, you can type whatever you want around this, you know, what you found, whatever you want to discuss. And then if you want to save that, you can save this as part of your state file. So it'll contain your analysis, your settings, right? The settings that we had in the regression tab, it'll save those when you open it up next time. Um, but it'll also save the report. I can also save the report to an HTML file. So if I click on Save HTML, this is going to render the report into a single HTML file. So images and, and tables and things like that are all going to be embedded inside of that file. So it's being saved right now to my desktop. And then if I open it up, I'll see that here's my, my, my math, um, here is the regression output, images, and so on. Right? So everything is available here. And this is just, again, a single file that you can send to others, or if you're working on an assignment, you can upload this together with your state file so we can, we can look at it and see what you did.